today I'm going to do my Spanish walk video. So there are many methods to teach horses anything really. This is the way I went about teaching my horse Spanish walk. Now I've seen some people that will whack their horse to get their horse to really strike out powerfully and that's not how I'm going to do it. I think that it looks a lot more beautiful when the horse offers something out of joy as opposed to fear or anger. So keep in mind when you're teaching your horse to do the Spanish walk that you are essentially teaching them to strike. So it's not the first trick that you should teach your horse and you need to be mindful of other people that will be handling your horse and not every horse needs to learn Spanish walk. So when I first start training a horse a trick, I have noticed that they have a tendency to start offering it when they start to get it like, oh, is this what you want? And that's great, but when you're training a Spanish walk, you need to be adamant that they are only doing it when you cue them and that you are only rewarding them when you cue them. So we're gonna head outside, I'm gonna show you how I got started with this, and then I have some video clips that I will piece together that shows the progression over about the last year of how the Spanish walk has gone because it doesn't just happen perfectly the first time. And I'm gonna show you all those struggles that I had and what I did to fix those. Stay tuned. So I didn't get the first day filmed, but this is what I did. I stood him in front of a solid wall and tickled his legs like a fly would. I then rewarded the slightest movement. As he got the hang of it, he got bigger and more animated with his movements. Now here we've moved out into the open and away from a solid wall. You'll see that he starts to have some confusion. When I cue his right leg, he keeps offering his left leg. So I ignore the left leg. And what I eventually end up doing is going around to his right side to make it more clear to him. And then I reward the slightest effort. So I rewarded that even though it wasn't the best effort just because it was an effort and he had been a bit stuck. Now I'm having him alternate legs and start to move forward. always rewarding the effort. Here he's getting a little more coordinated and I offer him a food treat when he has his head in his own space. You can see he starts to move his front legs forward but the back end is stuck and he just stretches out. Now you can see that the back end is doing better, but he still doesn't have it up underneath himself enough. Here he's getting a little bit better, but his back is still hollow and his head's stuck in the air and he's charging forward a little more than I would like. Now I ask him to bring his inside hind leg more up underneath himself. I start by tapping his leg and then I end up physically picking it up and moving it forward. At this point too, I did start to ask for the Spanish walk on a slight incline outside of the arena to help him with his back end. And you'll see that he starts to get really strong and chargy here. So then I also went back and did more in hand work with just having him stop and trying to keep him so that I was between his head and his shoulder. Also, this horse now has three cues for Spanish walk. I started by teaching the cue to be a tap behind the elbow, and then I started doing that along with picking up my own leg as if I was doing the Spanish walk myself. And then the final cue that he has for this is a shh sound. So it's nice to cue from a distance. 
um, and he has the three cues. I can use any of those to get him to do Spanish walk. I just wanted to show you that it's not all cupcakes and rainbows and they don't just do it perfectly from the start. It's always a work in progress and rarely is there anything in life that can't be improved upon. Uh, know where you're going and that the path can be bumpy. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the subscribe button and sharing with your friends. Thanks for watching.